Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. We are back. We are back. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Jose Carlos R Ramirez and Rancis Bartholome, two uh, former world champions. This is going to be uh, an entertaining fight. I like it stylistically, but before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money consistently betting on boxing. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Uh, it gets you all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you, you can also find it there in that banner below. Uh, it gets the lock of the week. You can ask the bookie anything. You get a free t-shirt. You get all this cool stuff. Just $5 a, uh, just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Also, sub subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, so this is a entertaining crossroads fight. Uh, Bartholomew is coming off a, a controversial win over Omar Juarez. Uh, that was back in May, so almost a year ago. And before that, he got just flatlined by Gary Russell Jr. Um, I'm sorry, Gary Antoine Russell. Um, so that's where he's been. Uh, prior to that, he had a, a tune-up fight with Al Rivera and, and Gustavo David Vittori, and, and the win against Al Rivera looks better in, 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 in retrospect. Um, as far as, sorry about that. As far as J.C. Ramirez, former unified 140-pound world champion, Coming off a destruction of, of Kome, also has a win over Pedraza in the not so distant past. Well, I guess that was two years ago already. But two guys, he hasn't been overly active. Uh, he hasn't fought yet this year. He fought once in 2023, once in 2022, once in 2021, once in 20. Uh, so, you know, he's fighting basically once a year. Really good fighter. The guy that I, I like a lot in, in JC Ramirez, let me pull my, my notes up. On him, Let's get into JC Ramirez a little bit. Uh, aggressive, come forward, great body puncher, terrific skills on the inside. He's a really, really dangerous threat on the inside. He's got a full repertoire of shots on the inside. Good value. He keeps he keeps you in the ropes. He keeps you up against the ropes. He backs you up, and 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 he keeps throwing. Decent athleticism and movement too. He's not a slow plotting guy by any means. I'm not saying he's you know, lightning quick, uh, but he's not a slow plotting guy. He's, 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 he's pretty elusive. He's pretty elusive for what he is. He's, he's hard to hit for what he is. Um, he's hittable, like, especially in combination. If you can time him, if you can punch in between his punches, he's a little sloppy in combinations and uh, he's out of position to punch sometimes. Um, he, he, he wants to come forward. He wants to cut off the ring. And he's good at cutting off the ring. And this is going to be interesting because I, I would imagine Bartholomew is going to try to use the whole ring. If Ramirez, who has a tendency to get sloppy, he's a good defensive fighter with bad habits. Uh, if he gets sloppy, Bartholomew can, can really take advantage of him. He can, he can pepper him. You know, Bartholomew is not a knockout artist, but he's got decent pop, especially when he commits to his shots. And if you go watch and watch the Rivera fight, when Rivera is kind of flat-footed and leaving himself open, Bartholomew really, you know, fires in the right, you know, the, the right hand and, and, and the one twos. He really sits down and, and puts pop on him. He can hurt you that way. Uh, but Bartholomew is a guy that stays on you. I want to see Bartholomew really... Raise that punch output, and I, I think he can win this fight on volume, and he, he can break Bartholomew down. He's got good feet. He's got really good footwork. He's fundamentally really good. You know, he's got an Olympic background. He's been with Robert Garcia. He, he's really technically good. He doesn't make a ton of mistakes other than these little lapses that he has. Um, you know, he's not stationary, and... He's not an easy target, but he's not difficult to find either, if that makes sense. Like, he's there to be hit, but he does little subtle things that can that can make you miss on the inside. But if you're super sharp with it and you can time him, you can, you can hit him. You can hit him. He's just a highly skilled pressure fighter. That's basically what he is. 
he's he's a highly skilled pressure fighter. Good feet, good combinations, good volume, works his angles, right? Good head movement. He's a highly skilled pressure fighter. Now, what does that do with Francis Bartholomew? Francis Bartholomew is a good boxer. He's got good skills. He's got that Cuban background. He's a former two-division world champion, almost a three-division world champion. He got that draw with Robert Easter. Good, clean boxer. Um, he, he has bad habits, too. He's not a high-volume guy. He's patient. He's relaxed in there. It was the best way to describe it is he's relaxed. He selects his shots really well. He can switch from the conventional to the southpaw stance. You know, my problem with him is is, is his age and, and his dedication. He seems uninterested at times. Uh, he, you know, he leaves his hands up and in his pocket. He doesn't let his hands go. I want to see him throw more. I want to see him fighting to win, not just fighting like to put rounds in. Like, I want to see him commit to getting win. He's got this really quick, sneaky jab that I like a lot. Like He does a lot of things good. You can see what made him a world-class fighter. And in his prime, he was really, really good. But he's 38 now. He shells up. He doesn't have the same volume. He doesn't seem to have the same love or commitment to boxing. And I think that's going to be a problem because you can't fight a guy like Ramirez like that. He seems to have decent pop, too. Like, again, he's not a power hitter. But he's not feather fisted either. He, when he commits to a shot, he's got decent pop on it. You know, it's at this age, it's going to be tough for him. Let's take a look at the odds. Uh, uh, and I hate the odds on this fight. And this is what I'm saying. That, 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 look, if you want, because this is a competitive fight. If you really... You can do this. It's not going to hit. Ramirez is going to win. Um, you know, it, it's hard to tell whether or not it's going to be a stoppage or, or, or you know, DQ uh, or, or a KO. Is it going to be a KO or a decision? It's, it's oh, my brain. It, it's hard to tell. I would stay away from that. You know, this is a good fight to use as part of the parlay to bring down the odds on something else. <laughs> um, but at minus 1,000, it's, it's a one times bet. It's not making any money here. And this is a closer fight than a minus 1,000 fight for Ramirez. I mean, but these are the odds that they're giving you. Ramirez is going to win the fight. You put a one and a half times bet on it. So in this case, a $100 bet makes you 15 bucks. You know, the, the, these odds on this week's fights aren't great. And this has been a trend here. You know, again, does he stop him? Probably stops him. You know, so this is not a bad bet. It's not a terrible bet. But... Bartholomew can be elusive. He can survive if he wants to. It's it's just it's, it's risky. You know how much do you want to risk? If, if you did that, you can do this. And you're gonna make seventy bucks on it. So you're gonna make seventy bucks on Ramirez by KO, and you're gonna make fifteen bucks on a two hundred dollar bet. So you're gonna make seventy eighty five dollars on a two hundred dollar bet if Ramirez stops him. And if Ramirez doesn't stop him, and he just wins, then you lose 35 bucks. I think it's worth it. I think those odds are worth it to, to, to take Ramirez by stoppage. Uh, let me know what you got, but you're going to take a smaller bet. You're going to make the big bet on Ramirez to kind of cover, and then you know, to kind of, and then Ramirez by stoppage is, is what's going to pay you. So you protect yourself with Ramirez to win on the money line, and then you take Ramirez by stoppage, which I, I do think he probably stops him late. But again, this is a guy who's a professional. He can survive. So we, we, we're taking a, taking a little bit of gamble here. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month gets you the lock of the week, which we put out today. It's an excellent lock. It's going to get you paid. Uh, we make money every single week. Uh, join the Patreon. Free t-shirt. Ask the Bookie anything. Request the video. I'll break it down for you. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, um, it is, what is today's date? It is April 26, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. I didn't. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.